Hey everyone, Chevy Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Glory, or it's basically our ultimate team here on FIFA 17. Now, this has just popped up today. It is the Gareth Barry Milestone card, an 83 rated Gareth Barry, good defending, good physical, good passing, good shooting as well. The problem is his pace, it's not fantastic, but I think if we utilize him in the correct way in our BPL team, he could be quite an effective player for us. So let's have a quick look at what we need to do. So we need a team full of Gareth Barry's past. So we needed three Aston Villa players, two Man City players, four English players, uh, full chemistry and a full team. As you can see, I have done this already. One problem we do have is that a Bon Lahore did cost me about 4,000 coins. So hopefully we can make that back from the gold players pack. And um, So we'll hand that one in now. <coughs> As I'm choking. So we've got a gold players pack for that. And Gary's presence, or Barry's present, or Gary Barry present. Um, so we needed four Everton players, that was it basically, and 11 players in the team. Three clubs exactly. So we've got Everton, Crystal Palace, and Middlesbrough in there. Um, full chemistry again, so it wasn't a problem. So we've got 4,500 coins for completing that one. So basically, we've got our coins back for buying that Agbon Lahore. And 600 clubs. So this is... Uh, oh, made a bit of a cock up here, haven't I? Made a bit of a cock up because I think I used Jesse Lingard twice. So I need a Manchester United player to finish this one off. I'm not quite sure who I've got left in the squad that's Manchester United. I might only have Ashley Young, potentially, is the only midfielder. Hopefully the chemistry will be alright to put him in the team. I want a midfielder. Manchester United we have. I'm not going to get rid of Mata. Ashley Young's not too bad. Can we do that? Yes, we can do that. So we've got Man United players, two West Ham players, two Chelsea players, two... Minimum team rating of 76, 100 chemistry, and uh, yeah, basically. So we got managed to get rid of a bronze player in this one as well, which wasn't too bad. And a lot of players we're just not going to use, really. The only player I had to buy for this team was um, was uh, Johnny Mikel, who cost me 1,000 coins. So basically, we've made 500 profit, and we're going to get, again, another gold players pack as well. So we'll get rid of that one. And there we go, we're up to 52,000 coins now. And we've completed the Gareth Barry milestone as well. And it means we are going to get that special Gareth Barry card. That wasn't too difficult compared to some of the other ones. Like the Sterling one was just so difficult. Well, not difficult, but really expensive to do. So we'll send Gareth Barry to the club. And uh, now we've only got left is that chemistry is key, which I'm not really that bothered about, to tell the truth. We don't get a massive reward for that. And it does mean now that we have two gold players packs to open. So you never know. We might get lucky here. Only one rare, though. So it's um, gold players pack is... Isn't that four golds for... Uh, Four golds, four silvers, four bronze, and the chance of your gold, obviously, being the rare, is obviously one in three chance, I suppose. Our first team, our first uh, player, should I say, we've got Caballero, um, Baptistio, so nobody of any real use as such, so we can get rid of all of those. Anyone we can sell? Might have to sell Bruno Martins Indy, um, everyone else I don't think is going to sell, so we'll just quick sell those three guys. And one more gold players pack. Come on, give us something good. Give us a rare goal. We're gonna get we are gonna get a rare goal from this one. A right midfield Spanish Everton. It is a Delafeu now. He might actually sell for a decent amount of coins. We've had him a couple of times now. Got a lot of duplicates in this one, haven't we? Um anyone any use to sell in here? No, so we'll keep those guys. Never know it might come in useful again. So we can sell Delafeu probably pretty easily. Um, I'll kick car. We can probably sell pretty easy. We can probably sell all of these actually. 79 rated midfield Belgian might be useful because he can um, link pretty well with Belgian players, maybe. Um, right midfielder from the Liga Santander with a decent pace, decent all round skills, so we'll get rid of him. McCarthy, an English goalkeeper, so he can go into the transfer list as well. You're probably not going to sell though because you're a Mexican centre forward. So we'll get rid of you. So that's a. That's not a bad couple of packs. It's not the best, but it's not bad. We can sell a few of these players for a decent amount of coins. Now, BPL team, I've been playing around with it, trying to find the best squad to try and get all the best players in. And I don't quite know how it's going to work, to tell the truth. I've been told that this... I say I've been told. After watching YouTube videos, I believe that this is one of the best formations you can have. And the one that I was using with the two attacking midfielders is one of the worst that you can have. So I think we we're going to try and stick to this one for now. Um, I might need to change that Bufal into a left winger. Uh, or maybe Balassi could play up there. I don't, I'm not sure, to tell the truth. I'm still trying to get used to which one of these players is the best, really. Um, for some reason, when you search just for the Premiership, you never 
seem to get special cards come up. So you need to actually get them. Uh, you need to actually select special cards specifically for them to arrive. There we go, Gareth Barry. So what we got? We got Zena on the bench. I understand that Jack Butland is probably one of the best goalkeepers on the game. I've been told. Well, I think I think um, I think uh, point for point, I think he's one of the best. Uh, if you look at his 82 rated compared to some of the others. So Robert Zeeler can um, can disappear off, and we'll bring in we'll bring in Butland. How many times he'll get to play? I don't know. With um, with uh, what's his name in there? So Gareth Barry, are you going to be okay there, or should we let's have a scan through some of the formations? Let's see if there is one that we can use. See that that might work. It's sort of I might give this one a try because it means that Coutinho. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button. See that's the one I was using. No, it wasn't. I might give this formation a try, actually, because then it means Firmino is in his uh, favoured centre-forward position. Coutinho and Mata are going to be playing as central midfielders. Gareth Barry can pull the strings in the middle. I might give this one a try and see how it goes, this, this formation. And um, One thing I do maybe want to do is just play Balassi instead of Buffal for a game. And it means that we can start this match, and we can also try out not only Gareth Barry, but of course we haven't tried Raheem Sterling yet, so we're going to get to try both these guys in the same match would be pretty cool. Anyone else you want to bring into the team? Um, I think we're okay at the moment. Fitness-wise, how are we looking? Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's, let's, let's stick with this team for now. Um, we haven't started our new seasons yet, so this could be a, a good way to try it out. So we're into Division 7. Um, and we've got... I'm not going to try and say that. Kortulua. Kotalulula. So let's get into that one. We're going to try the uh, the BPL team we've built now. And uh, let's go straight into it then. Come on, get the ball back. Get the ball back. Don't let them get in the box because uh, we've gone up a difficulty level now and they could score now. Oh, that's a terrible defender. Terrible defender. Come on, Matip. Oh, they have scored as well. Come on. You should be better than that. That was purely my fault. Look at this bad defender. I just sort of... I tried to tackle him, but he just took it straight round me, and that little ball into the middle. The AI defending wasn't very good, though. Come on, guys. I was concentrating on trying to stop the cross. You need to sort the middle out. So we are going to have to come from behind in this one if we do want to win. We've had a couple of opportunities so far, so it shouldn't be too difficult, but hopefully I'm not going to be eating my words by the end of the match. So it's 1-0 to uh, Kortalula. Uh, right, Coleman. This one, forward to Coutinho. Have a shot. There's the shot. Oh, and there's the goal, Philip Coutinho. What a shot that was, and a goal by Coutinho. I think this is the first time I've used him since we packed him as well. And um, looks like a pretty good player with that goal, anyway. That puts us back up to 1-1. One, one. We've struggled to get through the defence um, since they've scored, but I thought we'd go for it now and just have a, have a crack from distance. Nobody shut us down. Coutinho took the shot. We know he's good from long shots in real life, so obviously that transfers pretty well onto the game. And that drops right in the bottom corner as well. Beautiful, beautiful goal. I think the problem I'm having at the moment is I'm sort of overestimating Sterling. I know he's a special card, but I keep trying to do stupid things with him. I keep trying to run him past the entire opposition, and that's not really working. So Coutinho does well. The 85-rated cam to get us back level. Now let's see if we can uh, get in the lead. Pretty central. Firmino sees the run of Sterling. Oh, that's a penalty. That is a penalty, surely. Is that a penalty? It is a penalty. It must be a penalty. And it's a red card as well. Oh, yes. Not that I'm uh, glad that obviously somebody else is doing badly, but at the same time, yes. Now, this is one thing that I have heard about Sterling on uh, on some of the YouTubers' videos is that he's very, very good at getting you penalties because he's so quick. He's just very good at getting you penalties. Now I've got to score the penalty, which I'm not overly good at. So let's... Um... Oh, yeah, look at that. He didn't even move the goalkeeper. And Mata puts it into the left-hand corner. And we are now 2-1 up. We've come from behind which we seem to be doing far too often in this playthrough. But we come from behind to be 2-1 up now. Goals from both Coutinho and Mata, the two attacking midfielders. Sterling gets us the penalty as well. And I'll tell you one thing, obviously I would have probably cut it out because I'm only showing you the goals in these matches, but Gareth Barry's been very effective at breaking up the opposition's attacks. And I quite like him in the centre of the pitch as that holding midfielder. He seems to be very, very good at being the anchorman and pulling the strings. So Mata scores, we are 2-1 up. And let's see if we can uh, lock this one in now, because I don't want to have to come from behind again. Back to Mata, forward to Seamus Coleman. Plays it into Mata. Forward to Firmino. Go and see the run of Sterling. He does. 
Sterling's got space now on the outside. Firmino's making a run in there. Firmino gets the ball. Firmino takes a shot and it is 3-1. And all of a sudden, we have turned this one round. And that was a great bit of play there by Firmino and Sterling together. Firmino saw the run of Sterling on the outside. Played him in. Sterling utilised his pace to get on the outside. People were drawn towards Sterling. He played the simple little ball into Firmino, who able to put it past the keeper and make it 3-1. Beautiful bit of play, actually. I'm quite happy with that goal. Straight to the side netting as well. Keeper had no chance. And now Firmino playing that centre-forward role, which is how he come out of the pack as a centre-forward. I did, I did repurpose him into a striker, but now I'm sort of thinking that that centre-forward role could be quite good for him. I don't know if that makes a difference, though, at the moment. It means he's probably not playing on a full 10 chemistry, but I might put him back to a centre-forward because it seems to be a good position for him to play. Maybe even we could uh, repurpose one of the other midfielders. Maybe Coutinho... I think Coutinho could be a good centre forward for this. Um, See the run as well. of Juan Mata. He does. Mata cuts it in. Oh, it uh, has made its way to Firmino eventually. Firmino plays it out to Balassi. Plays it into Coutinho. And another cracking little goal. And I'll tell you what, I was starting to worry at the beginning of this match. I thought it was going to be a bit difficult this season. But our BPL team has really just stepped up a level now. It really has. I think when we packed um, Coutinho. We packed Mata. We got the Sterling card from doing the squad builder uh, challenge. I keep calling it showdown. And uh, we've got the Gareth Barry now as well. And the whole team just seems to be so balanced and really working well. The pace down the wings. Um, you've got the, the players coming forward like Coutinho, Mata and Firmino to try and get the goals. I'm, I'm liking this team. I think it feels really good now. I was struggling with our BPL to side a while ago. But now this seems to be a really strong one. I don't think we're going to be able to improve it much unless we can get someone like Aguero or uh, a De Bruyne or someone like that. Firmino is on the ball. Playing a bit deeper now because of the injury to Coutinho. We've had to bring on Callum Wilson. Oh, Mata has found his way in and slides it into the back of the net and we are 5-1 up now. So yeah, Coutinho did go down injured, hurt his shoulder I think and uh, as smart as I am I forgot to put any central midfielders on the bench. So uh We've had to utilise a substitution. We brought on Callum Wilson up front and we dropped Firmino back to a central midfielder. And um, yeah, Mata gets another goal. Now, I was thinking as this game's been playing on, there's me saying it's a little bit easier than what I thought it would be. But then at the same time, we've got to remember that one of their centre-backs was sent off in the 30th minute. So uh, they're probably struggling now defensively, which is why we've been able to cut through them so easily. And one Mata will be second goal of the game and we are 5-1 up now from being 1-0 down as well. Good tackle there by Luke Shaw now. And Shaw using his pace coming down the left-hand side. On oh, the space has opened up for Luke Shaw. Oh. Oh. Sterling does get a goal. Sterling does get the goal. He picks up the pieces after the keeper made a good save to Luke Shaw's ball. And Sterling scoring from a very tricky angle, but he does get a goal on his debut here for our ultimate team. The 84-rated special card player of the month. Very, very effective. I wonder if there's going to be another player of the month coming out pretty soon. Because we've had now... And the only special card I haven't got that's been released, obviously that wasn't PAX, is um, is Giovinco. But I'm still working towards that. But Sterling getting a goal. Gareth Barry's been an absolute boss in this game. He really just does break up everyone's um, attacks really easily. And one player who, again, has played really, really well is Jose Font. He's broken up quite a few attacks. And um, that's led to us being able to, uh, to launch a counter. And his passing's really good as well. So I'm really glad I'm getting that Gareth Barry. It didn't take a lot of work at all. I had the cards in my team already. I needed to buy like three or four to finish them off. Um, which cost me a few coins, don't get me wrong. But with the coins I'm going to get back through selling the players on. And uh, just the ones we got from doing the actual um, squad building uh, showdown as well. Or challenge, whatever it's called. Um, I think it's more than worth it. Sean now on his way back. And there we go. There is the full-time whistle. And we have uh, demolished them. 6-1. Was it 6-1? I can't remember now. It's been that long. Um, I'm sure it's 6-1. There we go. Yeah, 6-1. Gets ourselves 1,477 coins. I managed to get up to level 30 now, so I've got another 1,000 coin bonus for 15 games, which is going to help us out quite considerably with the coins. And, uh, yeah, player ratings. We'll go back into that. So, Sterling got a 9.4. Gareth Barry with a 9. Firmino and Mata both with an 8.5. 
Um, Coutinho is a 9.6. Coutinho actually got man of the match. So we did really well. Jose Font is absolutely incredible. If you can get enough coins to get a hold of him, he's only an 83. I say only. He's an 83 rated centre back, which is quite high. But he's so good. He broke up so many tackles today. He broke up so many tackles. He broke up so many attacks, so I say, today. So Mata with two. Coutinho with two. Firmino with one. And Raheem Sterling with one goal as well. This team now is looking very, very good. It really is looking good. Um, assists, we've got one from Balassi, one from Sterling, one from Barry, one from Coleman. Um, passes completed, Firmino was 16 out of 16, which is pretty good. Um, all guys were quite good, actually. Dribbles completed. I think I did really well with Firmino in this game, didn't I? Um, crosses completed was um, Coleman. There we go. That's what I'm saying about Font. That's six out of eight tackles, which is really, really good. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode. That was only one quick uh, quick match. Just wanted to show you the new Gareth Barry card and, of course, try it out alongside the new Raheem Sterling card as well. Um, of course, if you have enjoyed this episode, then please do hit that like button and let me know. And, of course, subscribe if you're looking for somewhere to watch some FIFA 17 videos. You like the Ultimate Team. Uh, as soon as I get paid, which is very, very soon, I'm going to do some more pack openings as well. I want to try and bolster our squad up. And, of course, we want to try and complete the Giovinco special card as well. And I'm sure there'll be some more squad building challenges coming up in the next few days as well. I've been Shabby Gamer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.